at 21 feet, 5 inches long, 3,770 pounds drive. If you've been looking for an entry-level couples coach with some amenities and features that are going to make you feel right at home, I think you're really going to like the Keystone Springdale 1790 FQ. Hey, what's up? It's Chris Young standing here in the all new Keystone Springdale 1790 FQ. The Springdales, for those that may not know, is a great entrance, entrance entree into camping for the first time RVer. So uh, it's, it's really Keystone's entry level RV, but what they've done is they've taken that quality construction that Keystone is known for, that quality insulation, quality products, and they put it in the entry level travel trailer. Affordability, with craftsmanship and beauty all built in. Now the 1790 FQ, the FQ stands for front queen because right up here nestled in the front, we do have a queen size bed. But this is really a rear bath couples coach with a dining slide that opens up the area, giving you the feeling of almost like a little mini apartment. We're actually gonna start right back here in the bathroom. Now, this is the new modern dusk decor. You're gonna notice the beautiful black on white with the tan accents and the upholstery almost kind of balances that line between taupe and gray. Beautiful combination of colors that really makes this pleasing to the eye. And it gives you the feel of not being an entry level RV. Solid wood door leading me here to the rear bath with my high rise Dometic plastic bowl with the foot flush and nestled here in the off camp side. Look at the countertop space that I have on the sink portion there. You got the single vanity, you got the large medicine cabinet right here. No raised lips, so I'm gonna ding Keystone for that because I do like the raised lips inside the medicine cabinet because that just keeps stuff safe while in transit. Once you set up, you come in here and you open it up, all the stuff falls on you, that's not cool. But you do at least have a lot of countertop space that will catch it. Once again, matching that dust decor of the tan on the black with the gray. Inverted GFCI outlet there, as well as double doors leading you to a storage cell underneath the sink. And then here on the campsite is our single surround shower with curtain. You step in here, now the ceilings are, eh, okay, I'm a little cramped. So, but you know, being 6'2", you're gonna have that with, uh, you know, some entry level RVs, but that's fine. You just hunch over, you still got the shower nozzle there with the hot and cold and your curtain. You just gotta make sure for the splash out because of the little lip right there. <clears throat> Got that upgraded style linoleum one piece flooring that's easy to clean, slip resistant, and once again, just matches the flow of the decor inside this coach. Now here on the campsite is where we have our kitchen. You got your blacked out dusk Dometic fridge freezer combo. It runs on both gas and electric with the automatic switch up here that you see. Good space to keep your stuff uh, cool once you get it cold for those nice long weekend getaways for that active couple. Here on the campsite, you'll see we got the large, because we got 79 inch high ceilings here, shelf space there, flush mounted graystone microwave, and this pressed surface countertop with the round edges. Gone is the T-mold, and I'm so happy of that because six months to a year into the T-mold, you've either chipped it or hit it or something, and it's, and it's peeling off, so I like that. You got the sink there with the high-rise faucet and the solid wood balance over your little window here on the campsite. Two burner cooktop on that Suburban. And check out my, I believe it's brushed oiled bronze handles that we have here. Full extension slide out on ball bearing drive, solid wood construction with the finished off applique inside the drawer there, as well as a little grab and go spot through my backpack in there, just because, well, I, for me, the grab and go spot is essential because if you're active and you got the, the backpack, the hiking pack, the water pack, whatever, you want to make sure you got a spot to put it. So sure, that's for the trash can, but I want to see if my backpack would go in there to be a good grab and go spot. Now the entertainment for this unit comes in the form of a portable Bluetooth speaker. This is the hanger for it. Uh, these are loud. Uh, you, you can obviously throw them in your backpack, you tie them into your cell phone, and that's your entertainment. Right here is your 20,000 BTU furnace right next to your circuit breaker box, your fuse box, whatever you want to call it. LP O2 detector down there on the bottom. Right there. 
and your 13.5 BTU Coleman Mach roof mounted AC with the filters on the side. Just check, yours may be a little bit different, but it will be a 13.5 BTU AC and a 20,000 BTU furnace. Now here nestled in the slide, this is what I think separates the 1790 FQ from some of the other rear bath models. Because a lot of the rear bath models that are smaller with the slide, sometimes you'll have some entertainment center right here that just kind of blocks off the space a little bit and looks a little disjointed. But here we got the clear wall with our convenience center, as well as the suburban HVAC controls for our heater and the raised slide. Carpeted with the little extra storage drawer underneath right here. And here's that plush, comfortable cushioning that I was talking about. Gray, but also kind of topish. Really good combination of colors there, but this is plush, comfortable, and it's a material where when you sleep on it, you don't get that sweat stick, if you know what I'm talking about, like the leatherette will sometimes do. Decorative table matching the flow and the color of the slides, LED light, solid wood balance and the pleated shade right there in our large window reconnection spot enjoying those memories talking about the hike talking about the fish talking about whatever you're doing inside your 1790 fq and it also reduces down into a sleeper right up front is where we have our queen size bed nestled in the front cap with that dust decor and that tan shelf let me tell you what man that was a good idea sure the shelf's a good idea but the color combination was a good idea. Whoever thought of that, it just really looks good. You got the dark, the light, it's quiet, it's beautiful, but it's also bright. I got my TV backer with my key TV multi-source connection, <clears throat> or excuse me, my cable and my satellite connection. Apologize for that right there. You got cross windows. You got the storage door right here for your ward, which closed on me. Sorry, Bobby. And you got the storage shelf or excuse me, the uh, storage underneath the bed right there. Now you'll notice right over here, you'll see how some of these say inverted outlet on them. That's because the Springdale comes with the Solar Flex 200 solar panel located on it. What is that? That's a 200 watt solar panel that can literally run the lights and the fridge uh, off of the solar panel. The fridge, if you got the 12 volt, that is. If you don't have the 12 volt, you got the gas electric. There you go. Still needs 110. Um, but right here are your slide control, your awning control, your external light, your internal light. Pretty simple, pretty convenient, easy to use, nice little camper. We've seen the inside of this beautiful 1790FQ. What do you say we go take a look at what's on the outside? So here we are on the outside of the all new Keystone Springdale 1790FQ. We're gonna start right up front with that super flex roof going over the top the aluminum ribbing here, and the light updated graphics for 22. You even have a little bit of gradient profile here in the blue, kind of mixing the gray and the white together with the black accents. Little mini diamond plating down here, sitting on top of that frame with the 20 pound LP tank, hand crank for the jack. We come around to the campsite and you can see the finished off pass through storage right there with the plastic clip holding our slam door as well as the solar plug. Now you do have that 200 watt solar flex panel on top of this thing that comes standard. Let me tell you, go ahead and get the additional panels to help trickle charge that battery while you have everything going because you never wanna run out of power. And this is just that extra safeguard to make sure that doesn't happen. Anti-slam doors with the locks right there. You do have an enclosed underbelly on this unit as well. You may or may not be able to see that down there, but you got the Lippert solid step leading you into your friction hinge door all covered by the 12 volt edge awning with the LED light strip. Now we have cut the battery box off and even though it's overcast, the solar panel is still helping us run the lights. Those solar flex, I tell you, man, it's worth getting a Keystone just for the solar flex, at least in my opinion. Got your little outlet out here, which is once again inverted, which means if you do have good sunlight or you got enough sun <laughs> to power it, you can power that outlet from that solar flex panel. Sealed safety windows all the way around this unit. You got that Dexter Easy Lube axle right there on the steel rim. There's the back of our suburban furnace and the back of our Dometic fridge. Rear stabilizer jacks on this one. You do not have front jacks, but once again, it's only 21 feet, five inches. So the tongue jack acts as the stabilizer up front. But right here is your rear hand crank. Four by four sewer hose storage on the back. Spare tire mounted on the back. You are set up and camera ready if you want to get that installed, which I always recommend. If you can get the, the back vision and the side vision, get that if you can. 
There's the arch on the uh, roof that really helps keep the rain and the snow off the top of this camper. The nozzles make sure it doesn't fall on you or the slide. Cable connection here for when you set up at a campsite and want some entertainment. Down here is where we have our main terminations. Now you got your gray tank and your black tank right there. And this beauty has a, I believe it's 27 gallon fresh, 30 gallon gray, uh, or excuse me, 30 gallon black, 32 gallon gray. Uh, so eh, for a couple, that's not bad. Obviously that booth dinette will sleep an additional adult or maybe two kids. So up to four people inside this coach. But look, this is a couple's RV. You can bring the kids along, 27 gallon fresh, 30 and 32. That's okay for the long weekends. But if you're doing a week, you're gonna have to dump. 30 amp plug right there. The Lippert Schoen Tech slide right here with the True Fit slide technology sealed all the way around, solid and sturdy. City water connection, fresh tank fill, other side of the pass through storage. But the most important part of any RV is gonna be this info panel right here. This is where you come to see, okay, how much does this vehicle weigh? So unloaded, we're looking at 3,770 pounds. Gross vehicle weight, 4480. This is still towable by an SUV, lightweight truck, the whole nine. But as I always say, take that information to your specialist at Camping World and Gander. This should be towable by an SUV. Always get your vehicle checked out first, okay? Because I don't know what you drive. Plain and simple. But if you take it in, our folks will easily check it and tell you what your vehicle can tow and what you can't tow. But if you tell us what you're towing with, how many people you need to sleep, where you're gonna go camping, we'll find the right RV for you, hands down, guaranteed. It's That will help fulfill the dreams because we have all the information needed to complete that equation. But I gotta tell you, man, for a couple that's looking for their first RV, that wants something sturdy and durable that's gonna last for a hot minute with beautiful decor, 1790 FQ might just be your ticket. Leave me some comments down below and let me know what you think of this 21 foot five inch beauty. Uh, Cause I'd love to hear from you. Then also, you know, please, while you're at it, click like, subscribe and notify. So the next time we do a video, you're the first one to get it. I'm Chris Young for Camping World and Gander. Thank you for spending time with me today. Hope you enjoyed the Springdale. Until next time, please come check out an RV. Cause they're pretty cool, man. I'll see you.